So Bitcoin edges one step closer to this 14,000 monthly level. And in today's video, I'm going to be picking straight off where I left yesterday's talking about that bull flag and uh, yeah, the great continuation that we obviously got from that. So no surprise there. And let's get straight into this price action because it has just been beautiful, uh, beautiful trading and then leading us on to where we are now. Uh, I'll be answering the question, do, do, are we going to reach this monthly level or is more consolidation needed? Um, I think it's going to be a Pretty good, decent video for you all, so let's, let's get straight into it, okay? No wasting time here. Uh, so, obviously, you can see here, this is where I was talking about yesterday. We were we had our original flag pole up, downward sloping consolidation for the flag. So, pole, flag, pole. There you go. There's your measured move right up to the daily level, okay? So, that's really, really, really nice technical analysis, basically. Uh, and you can just see that basically every level on this chart has been so well respected, just really really perfect technical analysis side of trading um so that's just really enjoyable when that happens and uh, so what we could see here as well is obviously you've got that downward sloping consolidation right onto the 26 EMA here and then you know a few hours later breaking up to that downside so that was a an expected move breaking up and um, no surprise where you came up to right onto our daily level okay right onto this really big daily level which then changed the trend we are we're obviously in the downtrend but now we've actually formed our low high higher low higher high okay so it's back to a bullish market structure uh, across all time frames now okay apart from the daily, uh, which you could still say this is a lower high, but uh, you know, you've, you've taken up this key resistance, key daily level, uh, which is actually Monday's close as well. So this is a really, really important level. You're looking at 12,347, okay? A key, key level. Okay, so then what we could see moving on here, we got a slight front run on our on our higher daily level. So this is the upper boundary, upper 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 range, one could say, of the dailies, okay? So we, you know, you got front run on this, obviously being a, a big psychological number, uh, around this 13k region you did get slightly front run by about 150 dollars here um so yeah there, there's not too much surprise when you start seeing these upper wicks uh you know you can start to see sellers coming in they're trying to defend this region and obviously you got that flush break to the downside okay so you did get that break okay then push back up look where you get rejected exactly off of that order block that is just really nice so rejection to the spot on the order block and you start to fall back down this was not a, i will be transparent this was not a short that i took i did not short that order block um but uh, yeah, you can you can see now where you did get rejected from that order block. But uh, in the grand scheme of things, one would would imagine they'd be looking for long positions in this bull market right now. <laughs> so you know when you come back down to this old consolidation, uh, you know this was oh, this was crazy on Binance. There was an 87 million uh, sell wall, <laughs> and obviously in our group we were speaking about this, and I said this this guy's a fool. Uh, why is he putting up a sell wall here? This is going to go down, and with the same uh, 15 minutes later, it took to get through an 87 million sell wall. Uh, yeah, price got through it, so you can see when it was held up, it was literally held up, and then yeah, break through back test, and then you you sort of off here. So it's the price action is really nice on Bitmex. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but you basically we had this range going on for a few hours okay so you were looking at this range okay where obviously you start to make higher lows within it but it's still your range resistance at that point very much your range resistance okay so this is one where you can be looking for shorts off of this okay so you can sort of talk you through really briefly what happened here obviously you start banging 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 at resistance breaking through right up to this old support where you did get rejected okay so uh from this rejection you come right down to the bottom of the range okay so the original range that you're looking at here okay so you come right down to the bottom of that really really long lower wick this was me um thinking wow <laughs> that that is not something that you want to maintain in a short when you see this long long lower wick obviously you're already seeing long lower wicks but that one right there is a telltale sign uh price does not want to go down anymore right onto the bottom of the range with a long lower wick uh, madre mia, that, that is pretty impressive, okay, that really is impressive, and then with the same, you obviously break up from that daily, and you, you break through this SR level here, okay, so now you have the potential again of a bull flag, okay, so that's what I would be looking at now, the potential of that bull flag, uh, literally keeping it pretty simple there, uh, you know, you're looking at daily support down really still at 12,350, I'll say, 12,350, you don't want to be losing this level again, now you've broken up, uh, you do want to hold that level, okay, losing that is a red flag, okay, so you want to hold that now, and obviously your resistance, you have to be looking at uh, 12,700, 12,700 is the resistance shorter term, where, you know, you have this potential bull flag, but you're looking at 12,7 resistance, 12,350 support, okay, and obviously, the main main level we're looking at here is this monthly target again of uh, 13,800 and that's really the short term play right now uh, whether we're looking at this as an expanded flat or the ABC is already in um, that's something I'll cover in the next video um, 
but yeah, the Elliott Wave counts are, are helping on Bitcoin. I'm not going to lie. They are really nice. Um, but yeah, first things first, you want to get break out of this range, okay? So that's obviously your top daily resistance, top daily support. Um, so that, yeah, that's the range that I'll be trading uh, going over probably the next, I would imagine, 24 hours, uh, 12 to 24 hours. We'll, we will should maintain in this range, okay? Resistance support, you obviously have your lower support, 12,200, 12, okay? So these are some pretty key levels uh, to be trading off of. Uh, of what is an, an enjoyable space, as I said yesterday, really, really, really love trading this, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty nice, to be honest, um, so I will end with, like, giving an update as well on, because I had a lot of questions about this, so obviously I'm doing for my champions group over on chartchampions.com, uh, doing a two, 20k to 200k challenge, uh, this was started now seven days ago, and, uh, this was an update that I posted, uh, so this was one of the calls, and we literally got the bottom to the top, this was, like, perfect um but yeah i started this challenge now one week ago so seven days ago started it on 20k we're now sitting at 26k that's um 6k in seven days pretty good going so far and it's all really for the educate i can't believe this <laughs> well education others obviously that's not meant to say this um so yeah basically it's 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 not meant for like a you know callings etc but it's more for like everybody can watch me live trading live sculpting etc 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 good doing those trading trades live while simultaneously educating others on how i trade how i'm making profits throughout the day etc um so yeah that's going really well and uh yeah there were people like um asking how they can join etc basically in the bottom of this video down below, you will see a link uh, in the description to the website, okay, and you can go over and get some more information on that. So yeah, if you have enjoyed this video, please give me a like, that's uh, very much appreciated, and uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe, tick the bell button to not miss a future video, and if you would like more information about this, then uh, yeah, in the description below, you will see uh, links to the website, etc., where you can get more information if that interests you, no pressure at all. Um, so yeah, basically... This is a really nice range to be trading. Be careful. You do want to have a slight caution with the shorts. Okay, now you have broken that daily level. You do want to take a little bit of care. Uh, but, you know, um, you know, bulls, I'm sorry, bears are going to just look at this again as a lower high. So you do want to have that little bit of caution that, um, you know, there's always <laughs> there's always something for a bear to short. So just, you know, you do want to uh, not blindly just long or short into these levels. Look, look, look at the resistance above. Um you know, to make it make more of an informed trade. Okay, keep an eye on the volume, keep an eye on this EMA right here. Uh, being as you can see, it's been pretty key uh, level to be to be trading off of really. So um, yeah, hope that you have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much. And I will catch you in the next one. Cheers. Thank you. Good night. Bye. <laughs>